darlings all over the world. Today I'd like to discuss why do people join secret societies? In my opinion, it is actually more complicated than the average person seems to believe. You do need to research a little bit more into human psychology and what human nature is really like. A lot of people do in fact overestimate the kindness and the good nature of the average human being. Why do I think so poorly of human beings, you might say now? Well, I didn't have bad experiences, but I did have experiences and I do analyze and I actually have a good instinct. So I've been watching and analyzing human psychology for many, many years. Wherever I go, I tend to analyze people. Sometimes I sit in a cafe and watch people and secretly listen to their conversations. <laughs> and I also read a lot of scientific studies. My final conclusion is human beings are vessels. They are not exactly in control of their emotions, of their behaviors. I will make a new video regarding that where I will explain why there is basically no free will in humans. So watch out for my next video if you want to understand why. That's also why Juval Noah Harari was saying we have found out that human beings, they have no free will. And they can be mind controlled from what i have seen and what i have analyzed to be true he is unfortunately saying the truth <laughs> he's not exaggerating so why do people join secret societies joining a secret society is one step towards success if you watch human beings and if you study them they are they are vessels for outer worldly beings you, you have to open your mind and you have to begin to watch people around you and you will maybe at some point you will understand what i'm saying it's very difficult to, to open your eyes to that fact there is an amazing movie named fallen about the entity azazel with the actor denzel washington which perfectly exemplifies how it works i have personally witnessed to my favor when working with some entities how different people can be influenced in one room and even technology by one entity. So entities can control these people and influence their minds, therefore have a massive impact on the outcome of a situation. Furthermore, if you do not force people to remain accountable and connect them to something larger, there is often a huge possibility that they will get possessed and start to fight each other, turn against each other and destroy the entire outcome of a plan. Unfortunately, you can watch this happen over a longer period of time within every group or every society. People begin to attack each other, turn against each other, Usually they try to destroy the leader of a community and it has a lot to do with these entities who use the energy, the negative energy of people to their favor. That is why human nature has to be restricted and they have to be forced to stay accountable. You almost need to threaten them with, we will cut your hand off if you don't do this or that. It's almost impossible to achieve a goal long term if you don't restrict people. The entities are quite powerful and they can stir up a lot of chaos and destruction. So you need to build a community that seems almost like family. It is a proven fact that people remain the most trustworthy and reliable towards their own families. So the idea of a brotherhood and family creates loyalty. The basic establishment and idea of a secret society is not evil, but a necessity. So I've seen this to be true in many, many, many cases. People don't have strict rules, almost a death threat if they don't obey and follow them. They will create chaos. 
If you look at the lower classes, even the upper middle class, people who don't have communities, a certain kind of brotherhood of group, which binds each other together, at some point they will always betray each other. The problem why you think that's not true is because you have built your reality mostly based on watching Hollywood movies. You consider human beings to be much sweeter, much more gentle and much kinder than they truly are. You have to reconstruct your entire view, your entire idea of humanity. They show you a completely different idea of what people are like, how they connect to each other on TV. And because you have been bombarded with these ideas for such a long time, you don't even understand who you are dealing with in real life. This often leads to a huge amount of disappointment. There are plenty of sad realities about human beings. If you would teach people that from a very young age, it wouldn't be so disappointing. You have been told so many lies and so many false romantic ideas about what people are like. You are constantly running or a lot of people are running from one trap into the, into the other. I'm trying to give you two very simple example, examples. Men are mostly interested in sex. <laughs> It's now a very harsh truth and a very painful truth for women. Oh, also, they, they, they choose women based on stereotypical things like looks. That's the number one thing. And every man is like that. There is no exception. There's no exception. <laughs> Now, this sounds very harsh. But from the biological standpoint, this is just nature. It's not something that is evil or um, despicable or anything. But on TV, in movies, you have been told, oh, it's love and, you know, and love overcomes everything. And if a woman is um, an accident and she can't walk anymore, the man will support her and take care of her. That's unfortunately a very small number of cases where this really happens. Like people are not that loyal. It happens, yes, it does exist, but it's not the majority of humanity. Humanity is much more selfish. That's nothing they have complete control over. It's a biological function. So Hollywood movies promote false ideas, which in the long run hurt people because they act based on romantic stereotypes they have learned from movies and these often don't work in reality. The other harsh fact is that women are focused on stability and security when it comes to men. So they choose the most powerful men. That's not something they have full control over. Also, unfortunately, a lot of women, they have been taught to repress their emotions and their uh, instincts to such an extent that now women, they pretend to be this loving, kind person and they're literally so desperate that they chase all sorts of men. I don't know, they have this kind of trauma bonding case after men that can provide for them, can't do anything. And The, nature, the natural instinct of a woman is to find someone who is secure, who is offering security. That's the biological truth for a man. It doesn't mean women are evil. It doesn't make women so-called gold diggers. But you know, the basic natural instincts are now being demonized within society and on, on TV. So people learn to oppress their natural gender instincts. Another reason is that almost everyone suffers in some way from some kind of PTSD. People are naturally being programmed from birth during traumas and stressful situations in life, which often makes them act out in volatile ways becoming overly emotional due to triggers. And that's why they're often not in full control of their own behaviors. And this is the reason why you need to restrict people. The downside of a secret society is, of course, that they often protect criminals within their group and all sorts of degrading behaviors. You are often not fully informed about the higher agendas from the top. However, the basic idea wasn't meant to be evil or against human nature. 
that is all what I wanted to express for now. I hope you're doing well and please subscribe and like. I hope to speak to you soon again. Bye bye. Take care.